The Apollo 7 was an October 1968 human spaceflight mission. It was the first crewed Apollo flight and the first one to use this specific type of command module. All of the systems and procedures required for the moon mission were flight tested for the first time with this vehicle. The crew orbited Earth 163 times in a little over 10 days, traveling a total distance of over four and a half million miles. The command module housed the three-person crew during liftoff and landing. We wonder, why is the command module shaped this way? It's shaped like a truncated cone, or like a cone that has had its point cut off, because this shape was the reason that the three astronauts were able to make it home safely. A cone is a three-dimensional geometric shape that consists of a flat, usually circular base, smoothly joined to a single point called the apex. A cone is truncated if the apex is cut off, making a second flat surface. Slamming into the upper atmosphere at 20 times the speed of sound, the command module would encounter tremendous friction, creating temperatures of 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit. They needed to slow down the command module's re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. This design, involving a truncated cone, manages to slow down re-entry by creating as much drag as possible. This could be accompanied by using a blunt shape maximizing the surface area and therefore drag or air resistance. When you drop a ball and a feather, they actually should land at the same time because gravity is acting on them the exact same way. So why don't they? Air resistance. This is the same force that allows the command module to slow down due to the flat base of the cone shape. This is a great example of form follows function. What other cones do you see in your environment? And why might they be shaped as cones?